This week we are still camping, but it's raining. It's raining hard. But the rain doesn't stop us and we keep building. Oof. The building must go on. We are building a self-driving boat. A self-driving boat moves around by itself in the sea. And we've been testing it in all sea condition by camping and building on, on the beach for the last weeks. Our design is actually a sphere. When a big wave comes, a boat will flip, but our sphere will roll. And we really like rolling. We routinely perform warming up exercises before deploying our vessel to make sure we are ready. Deploying a vessel is not always easy and actually a bit tricky because of the waves. Right, pretty, pretty hard. This is inside the ball. Look like a cushion or a pillow. And that's how, how waves work. When a wave comes, see how the wave pulls the elastics and then the elastic gets back the ball. That's it, that's the anchored ball. Look, a wave comes. Nice. Beautiful. We eventually moved our craft in the middle of the sea to leave it there overnight and to see how fast it would move, how it would keep its position and generally what would happen if we leave it there during a storm. We are in the storm and we just retrieved our vessel that was utterly destroyed. You can see here our vessel destroyed but the ball is intact as robust as ever. I'm gonna show you now how robust our sphere is. Look at this, 30 kilogram. That's 20 kilogram. There was a full roll. Our experiment wasn't exactly successful, but we gathered a lot of data and improved our technology. For instance, we got a cart. Our amazing cart technology. Alex, no. 300 it looks so good. We solved all our logistic problems with this beautiful technological solution. We still have a lot of work to do. And after packing, we went home back to the drawing board. The silicon sphere was robust and great at keeping large volume of electronic waterproof, but not so great at being moved around. We can't wait to design, build and show you the next iterations of our self-driving boat.